Okay, for all was arrested for a domestic violence. I love doing videos like this because then I get to give y'all a little more background about me. Sit back, check it out. Hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gonna get it. Next time I see you, you gonna need airlifted. Everybody, you already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Today, I'm gonna be speaking on myself. I'm going to be telling y'all a little background about me when I was arrested for domestic violence. All right. Now, you know, a lot of people feel like, Dan, domestic violence, he beat a woman up. Off rip, right? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all how shit went down on my end. And I'm going to let y'all know what it is. You feel me? Sit back and enjoy this video. Let's do it. All right. So for those who don't know, in 2009, I was charged with a domestic violence. All right. But the twirl of the story is I was actually placed on six years probation for domestic violence. And it was actually a stab charge. You feel me? I stabbed someone a couple times and got put on probation for it. Now, domestic violence doesn't always mean it was a woman. You see what I'm saying? I actually caught this charge on my dad's wife's son. And we all lived in the same household. So it gave me a domestic violence charge. You feel me? And I was placed on probation for it. Like I said, I got six years probation for it. My first adult charge. And that's what they ended up giving me. And throughout the time of me being on probation and shit like that, you know, there were, at first there was a no contact order. I wasn't allowed near him. He wasn't allowed near me, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it was kind of hard because we lived in the same address, you know. So they couldn't make me not go to that address because it was my dad's house. He wasn't not allowed to not come over because it was his mom's house. You see what I'm saying? So I ended up getting the probation, had to pay restitution and stuff like that. His hospital bill, I believe it was like sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars or something like that and stuff. You feel me? Now, while I was on probation though, you know, I was in and out of the county, caught different charges, violated possibly every way that there was to violate, except for a dirty urine because I don't do drugs. But um, I actually had my baby mama put the police on me one time also. And they gave me a domestic violence, you feel me? And I'm gonna give y'all a little background check on this one too. And this one didn't even stick. This one was a, it was just a fluke. I went to jail on the house per se, you know? But uh, my baby mama, we were hanging out, chilling. My dad uh, had a little party, a little get together. You know, he was, we were just finding out that he was cancer free. So we had a barbecue and shit like that. Everybody was chilling, everybody was getting plates of food. When I went to walk this female out of my yard, when we're, when we're walking out the back gate to the, to the swell area, I see my baby mama's car parked there and she's got a baser right there, you feel me? So she was busting a lick in my swell, you know what I'm saying? She basically had someone come meet her over there, you know, in my, my area, in my dad's crib to do what she had to do, you feel me? So I got kind of mad, started talking shit to her. She started talking shit to me, blah, 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 blah. Pulled out my money and told that baser, man, look, bro, I got 200, you knock this hole out right now. So I tried to get the you know, the baser, the turn on her for 200 and whoop my baby mama, you know, because me and my baby mama weren't cool, we weren't friends, you know, so it wasn't like she was one of them BMs that, you know, I associated with, or we were, you know, on good terms, it was none of that, we, we were not cool at all, you feel me, she wasn't from my neighborhood, you know, so it kind of made me pissed that out of everywhere you want to do your little deal or whatever you want to do, you want to do it in my swell, you feel me, so uh, she ended up calling the police on me. When the police came, I hit on the roof at my crib. You know, when I hit on the roof at the crib, the police came. They questioned everybody. They even called my cell phone. She gave them my cell phone number, and I was on the roof. And I told them, oh, I'm not there. She's lying. They're like, oh, we know she's lying, this and that. They were like, oh, but she's got a mark on her lip and shit. I'm like, man, that bitch, I don't know what she does. She had that when she came there. That's one of the things I was yelling at her, talking shit to her about. Like, man, you already got your ass beat up by somebody, obviously. Running your mouth to one of these little raggy ass females in your neighborhood. And they done dragged your ass. Probably sleeping with the wrong person's man or something. You know, like I was talking shit to her, basically, that her shit was busted. You feel me? So, the police basically talked me into, you feel me, coming to, you know, give my side of the story. And it wasn't really me that they talked into it, but... They talked my dad into it, and then my dad wanted me to, so I went with what my dad wanted me to do, you feel me? And they told me that by law, since it was a domestic, you know, they need both parties, you know, story. They need my story and her story, or else they're going to have to rule with what she, you know, says, you feel me? If they don't come in contact with me. 
I was on some shit like, man, I'm on probation. I've been on probation for a couple years now. I ain't trying to come in contact with y'all. You feel me? I ain't got nothing to say to y'all. They told my old boy, they were like, man, he can't go to jail, blah, blah, blah. The female cop was telling me on the phone, which is the funniest shit ever, y'all. I literally, like, was flirting with this female officer, like, you feel me, on my phone. And she was like, oh, yeah, you're too cute to be in jail anyways, da, da, da. My dumb ass fell for the bait. I'm thinking, oh, shit, if you feel me, fuck around and snatch me a cop, you know, boy, I free all my dogs, feel me, or whatever. But so... I end up coming down. My old boy's like, son, just come down the roof. They're going to come back over here. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. He's like, oh, these officers, you know, seem like they got their head on straight. They're not like all the piece of shit ones that we grew up with. I'm like, all right. So I come off the roof. Um, they come up. The police pull up. The female officer was like, yeah, it would be illegal if I arrested you, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right. They were like, oh, but let's walk right here. You know, let's, let's talk right here because of the music of the party. I can't really hear you and get your, your story. So I'm like, all right, boom. So we walk near that cop car. Next thing you know, that female officer draws a gun on me. Put your hands behind your fucking back. Starts screaming. I'm like, man, what the? And then the dude goes to starting to cuff me. So I'm like, man, what the? So then I start running towards my gate, like pulling this cop. And I start saying, hey, they're trying to book me. They're trying to book me. The whole party ran outside the gate. They all came out there and was like ready to go at it with the police. You feel me? And then the female officer was like, I, after I was in handcuffs, I was like, man, I thought you said it should be illegal to arrest me. She's like, it would be illegal because I'm not the arresting officer. He is. You know what I'm saying? Like the other officer that put me in the cuffs. But uh, my old boy, you know, picked up a bottle and shit and all types of shit happened. And my homeboys were grabbing my old boy. My dad felt like, you know, I only came to talk to the officers because of him. He knows that. So he felt like he played a part in setting me up to go to jail. That's how my old boy felt. He was yelling at the cops. That's why every time one of you get killed over here, I laugh because y'all are real pieces of shit. Blah, 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 blah. Picked up a bottle. My homeboys were grabbing my dad, trying to calm him down. And uh, the cop told me, look, if you come with us peacefully, we won't take your dad to jail too. So I told him straight up, all right, take my water money out of my pocket and hand it over there to my stepmom. And I said, hurry up and get me out of here then because my old boy ain't going to stop. And that was it. And I went to jail. Now... While I went to jail, check this out now, they charged me with a domestic, right? They gave me a domestic uh, battery, simple battery or some shit on my baby mama. She went down there the very next day and told them I didn't want him to go to jail. I, I thought y'all were just going to scare him. He didn't hit me. I already had this mark on me. And this is a girl that I'm not even cool with still to this day. We don't speak or nothing like that. She just knows what she did was flaw and fucked up because it got me arrested while on probation. So even though the charge dropped the next day, I still had to sit in there two, three months to see the, the judge that put me on probation for my violation, for coming in contact with the police, you feel me? And then he went on vacation. So they pushed me back. This was around like Thanksgiving time. They put me on around Thanksgiving time is when I came in for the VOP. He pushed me back past the holidays, past Christmas, New Year's, all that shit, you feel me? And then in order for me to get an earlier court date, which was what I was trying to get because the charge I violated with was dropped. It was dismissed, you feel me? Once that shit was dropped and dismissed, I tried to get the earlier court date, but my judge went on vacation for the holidays and you can't go in front of another judge when you're there on a VOP. You gotta go in front of the judge that puts you on probation, you get what I'm saying? So I sat in there for months for nothing. Just for when he finally came back and they gave me the court date, which was one week earlier than it was supposed to be. They said, oh, let's get you out of custody. What you still doing here? And put and, and put me right back out there. So I went to jail on the house, just all over what a female said. You feel me? And she had a mark on her before she even came to my house. You know? And it ain't like it was... A, it, it was crazy. They ran that as a domestic because we have a child together. But we weren't in a relationship. Wasn't in a relationship for years. She didn't live with me. She wasn't welcome at the house. You know? It was like... You feel me? Like, But that's why they ran that as a domestic. You get what I'm saying? And... It looks bad, you know, when people get arrested for stuff like that, you know, but just because you get arrested for something like that doesn't mean you're guilty of that. You feel me? Don't mean, oh, you got arrested for a domestic doesn't mean you're a woman beater or they're saying you hit that woman. Your ass wasn't convicted. If you weren't convicted, boy, you ain't a woman beater. If I, right now, if they arrested me for a murder charge and then I beat the murder, you know, the murder charge didn't stick. It dropped, right? Does that mean I'm a murderer? No, it don't, right? It wouldn't mean that. You feel what I'm saying? Especially if the charge no info the very next day because the person went down there saying, that ain't the dude that killed my my brother or my family. You get what I'm saying? But 
when it comes to these domestics, whether it's a guy or a girl, you know, they're going to side with the girl regardless. A female can just straight up lie and say you did something to them. Literally. A female can have bruises on her fucking leg from going and riding dirt bikes over the weekend or something. Come to your house and want to talk to you and get in an argument. And she could tell them, yeah, he pushed me. He did? Yeah. You got any marks on you, man? I got bruises from when he beat my ass all weekend. And then they'll see it. Next thing you know, they're coming after you, bro. That's the type of shit they do when it has to do with the guy or the girl. You know, they're going to side with the woman over the guy nine times out of ten. You feel me? And me personally, I know I'm not a woman beater. I know I don't hit women. You feel me? And I was arrested for a domestic, though. But if you think about it, if I was arrested for that domestic while on probation for a charge that was ran as a domestic, man, they would have railroaded me. You feel me? But I never was convicted of the second domestic. You feel me? That second domestic never was a charge, basically. They arrested me for it, and then the next day it got dropped. She was apologizing all on the phone to the state prosecutor. I don't know why I made it up. I was just mad. And then they went to listening to what she was saying to the cops over the phone. All, everything she was screaming and saying didn't add up to what she was telling them later on when they came for her to give them the report. You see what I'm saying? And me, I almost, I almost went to prison earlier. You feel me? I almost went to prison because of my first baby's mother, you know, just by doing that to make me get arrested. All because she was probably jealous that I walked out with a girl and was talking her all type of crazy. And it is what it is, you know, but she wasn't welcome where she came. So we got in an argument, you know, and it's crazy because down the line, when I ended up getting set up and getting sent to prison, I got sent to prison by being set up by the mother of my victim which was my stepmom, my dad's wife. That's who set me to prison. That's who set me up, okay? And when I got set up by her, I got hit with violations, and they ended up snatching all my probation from me and resentencing me on the initial stab charge. So when I went to prison, I had an 09 um, case number. You feel me? I went to prison for an 09 case number because they snatched my probation and they resentenced me on the stab charge. Which definitely gave me the shit end of the stick because, like I said, I had six years probation. Out of the six years probation, I did five out of six. I had one year left. Since no charge could stick on me that they were trying to charge me with while I was on probation with the violation, none of them were sticking. All they had was a bunch of technical violations that my stepmom kept giving them info on trying to do anything to keep me locked up. Because here this is. This was the day after my dad died. You feel me? So... It was just to get me out of the house to inherit everything. But um, when you violate with technical violations, they got to credit you the time you did on probation if you go to prison. So if they were going to give me five years in prison, I did five out of six on probation. I would have went to South Florida Reception Center, got my hair cut, got a shave and all that shit, got my DC number, which I already had because I was put on felony probation. That is your DC number. You feel me? But I would have got my ID with my number and then... Probably stayed at the reception center for a couple months if it wasn't actually five years on the head and then just, you know, been released. But they didn't want me to get off that easily. So what they did is they revoked my probation on the domestic stab charge on my dad's wife's son. And then they resentenced me and gave me five years in for it. See that? So I ended up doing the probation first, then the time after when normally it's the other way. You feel me? It's kind of crazy, ain't it? But that's how the world works. That's how the system works. And, you know, it is what it is. I made it through it. You know, there was nothing I could do about it but fucking take the shit out of the stick and just ride with it. You see, I did what I had to do, you know? And my whole meaning of dropping this video is to tell y'all, you know, people that have charges or people who were arrested for something but weren't convicted, it's a totally different ball game. You understand? In my eyes, personally. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like a, you know, like a sexual charge or something. Boy, your ass was obviously involved somehow. You know, like when it comes to something like that. You feel me? Like that right there, yeah, I could see it being a little fishy. You know, but something like that. Like if they say, oh, you broke into this house. But all the witnesses to say, oh, it wasn't him. That ain't the guy we seen. And then that charge drops. That don't mean he's a burglar. Because he was arrested one time for burglary. But it got dropped. You feel me? It, it does look different if you go all the way to trial and ride the case out for a year or two years and then you beat it. Then all you did is, you, you know, a lot of people are thinking, yeah, he beat it though. He did do it, but he beat it. But on my situation with the domestic, like I said, I was on probation 
for, for a stab charge for domestic, but it wasn't a woman. It was because my dad was married to this, his mom. He was an older dude than me, the, 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 my victim. You feel me? And I never really did a video or spoke on it or break it down that much, which I'm still not going to do that much because part of my court order, I'm not allowed to really mention their name and put them out there and stuff on social media. You see what I'm saying? I'm not really allowed to do that. You know, but I ain't did nothing or said nothing wrong in this video. I'm just giving it to y'all as real as I can, the cleanest I can. There's so much more behind it, you know, that if I broke it down for y'all, y'all would be like, damn, that's fucked up how they did you, frog. But, you know, it is what it is. I got to bite the bullet and keep it moving, you know. And then, like I said, but while being on probation for that, I ended up getting arrested because of my baby mama with another domestic that got dropped the very next day because the bitch lied on me. You know what I'm saying? And there ain't nothing I could do about it, you know. And then, you know, the police from like my neighborhood, it's probably the same with everyone that's watching this video. You know the police know you in your neighborhood for being in trouble. They know you in your neighborhood for committing crime after crime, always arresting you. Man, they, they can't wait to pin some shit on you. They can't wait to write some shit and make it stick. Whatever they write is what's gonna go in front of that judge when you go to magistrate court. So they want that bitch to look like, oh hell no. Nah. You feel me? They want it to wear, boy, he ain't getting out. And that's exactly why they pushed me off past the holidays. You see? Because it sounded bad inside the police report. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I know I didn't do it. She knew I didn't do it. Her ass had a guilty conscience. She called my mom. And her and my mom ate each other. They never got along. She called my real mom. Right after I was in jail, she called my real mom crying to her. Crying to her and everything. Saying, I, did, I just wanted the police to scare him. Can, they, can you please bring me down there? Can you please bring me down there? I feel so horrible. I feel so horrible. She was that mad that she just said what she said to the police and they took my ass to jail dog and there was nothing i could do about it you feel me but i don't mean i'm a woman beater you get what i'm saying it'd be different if i had been convicted of it if i was convicted of it even if i was innocent and was convicted of it then i'd be like shit well technically by law i am a woman beater you feel me but everything that you see ain't really what it is a lot of times you know but it is what it is. But I just want to come on here and share the domestic situations with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because you got trolls out there trying to make videos and shit about me. Talking about gay frog, a woman beater, and this and this. Trying to dig and dig and dig as much as they can. But it's like you can't try to make something that's real look fake. You can't expose something that, is, that isn't nothing to expose about. You feel me? That's what people don't understand when they're going to learn to stop fucking with me. Because no matter what you throw at me, bro, no matter what you try to do to keep my name in your mouth to be relevant, Frog always has some type of proof and facts to show it's all lies. And you feel me? I would never want to be considered a channel like a troll channel. You feel me? Because, you know, on YouTube and on the internet, people say anything for views. People want to be the top known exposer. And they'll say anything to make people feel like, Oh, boy, look what he put, bro. I'm going to click on this bitch. But in all reality, nobody takes you serious once you're proven that all that shit you're putting is fake. Once, you, once, once people realize what you're putting up isn't true, no one is going to take you serious, even when you try to be serious. Yeah, but you know what? I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. It's a domestic. I, run, I could run with it however I want to run with it, bro. bro. Like, I don't like that, man. And I, I'm, I'm glad he's mad. I'm going to say, well, I could make up any story. K Frog got prison, butt raped in prison like six times. I'm, I could make up anything I want on my channel, though, bro. It don't have to be true about him. I mean, everyone knows I don't like One day I'm soft. I'm pussy. People make a video. Show that shit ain't true. I went to prison. All my charges that I ended up going to prison for, and even as a juvenile, all my charges were violent charges. You feel me? I didn't just start this violent shit. You feel me? I didn't go to the chain game and learn how to play with knives. Literally, I went to a juvenile program for a knife charge. Landed in prison for a knife charge. You get what I'm saying? My charges were violent before I even went to prison. I just fell back and calmed down now. Don't mean it ain't in me. You feel me? I'll do what I got to do if it comes to it. You feel me? But at the same time, I know what I'm capable of. And I know how far and severe I would take it. So there's no reason for me to prove. I'm not on here trying to prove I'm the violentest person because I've been to prison. I ain't go to prison for pawn and shit. For breaking into people's houses, burglaries, and all that. Fraud didn't do that, you know? I mean, I had a burglary charge on my record, but that ain't why I went to prison. My charges were violent. You get what I'm saying? So, I just let people know, you know, like, no matter what people try to say about Frog, and no, no matter who don't like me, and no matter who does like me, regardless, I get the same love and hate attention. 
I get love, hate, attention from people that fuck with me. Love, hate, attention from people that don't fuck with me. So one day I'm pussy. Next day I'm a rat. Next day I'm a woman beater. Next day they're going to make up some other shit. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. I got convicted of a domestic in 2009. Caught another one by my baby mom. That shit wasn't legit. It was just some bullshit, you feel me? But I just want to share this video just to let people know that, you know, people do get arrested all the time at an intersect. Shit happens. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Charge it to the game. It's all public record. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of free people right now that deserve to be in prison. There's a lot of people locked up right now that deserve to be free. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this one on up. Appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, it's Frog.